following this uh, tall ridge uh, on a deer trail that leads all the way down to this uh, sort of cedar swamp and every time I go to, into the cedar swamp I always find like a dead deer or an antler it's always always in the water well I was just thinking to myself I'm gonna I'm gonna find something because this looks pretty good and then there's this dirty deer skull and to me it looks like the back of like the skull plate's been sawed off so you know that could be like poacher or something like that but I'm gonna I'll pull it out and examine it but I don't know I'm just confused right now because there's no spinal cord nothing attached to it so someone could have dragged it here or it could have died and or someone could have just cut the head right off and thrown it in here but we'll have to take a look all right definitely a buck uh, and definitely sawed off because you can see you can see the saw right there and it's still stinking a little bit so it's been in there for a little while and I would say I think I know which deer this came from because it's just been a real big buck around here and I know a lot of people were after it so I'll have to to do a little investigating, maybe search around, find uh, maybe some more remains or something, but that's definitely been cut off. So, sort of a piss off too. So I've let this uh, deer skull dry off, because oh man, it's just stinking like fish. But, um, and I've been carrying it along with a uh, stick tied onto it, but I do know which deer this is. We first started seeing this deer, and it, uh, it was the broken nose eight pointer which then the next year was the broken nose 10 and then the year after that was the broken nose 13 he's huge 13 pretty much typical points no drop times or nothing but he looks really nice and I have a picture of him I'll throw it on at the end of this video but you oh man it just just really pisses me off because I searched hard for this deer's sheds and my neighbor found him twice and and he was because he was feeding them all year, but oh man, that's just a real piss off. I can't believe it. I can't believe someone would just throw that in the swamp. Like, come on. Use a bit of hunting ethics. But anyway, I think that's good for now. And looking for sheds still. I'm coming across a real good deer trail, and I'll probably find something on there. Maybe skull or antler. We'll have to see. Anyway, that's it for now. Just see this deer. Hung up on the yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, walking out to the road when I spotted a deer antler, and it's right beside the road. So I bet you this deer jumped over the road and then just probably shed his horn right there. But um, decent uh, left side of a maybe six pointer. It's got three on this side. Well, that's good. Beauty. Maybe you'll find the other one. Just sat down that deer antler. And I looked up the like the trail a bit where the road is, and I see the other shed. There it is. So I was right. It was a six pointer. So sweet. That's the first pair I got this year. So uh, there's no way you cannot tell me that that is from the same deer. You got it. That is, of course, with some raisinets. You gotta love them. But yeah, first they even got the wax ring still on them, which is good. So that's this year's. Pretty happy. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna head back. Maybe uh, grab some breakfast. It's only like 8:30 in the morning. I've been walking since like 7:30, so I'll probably go out later today. But I'm happy. That's good. So these are my finds today, and that was only in an hour. I found that skull and that pear. I found the sheds in there, just right there. And you can see the deer tracks. They're going up the road. There, a couple of them here. <clears throat> a couple old ones and whatnot so that's good good sign maybe you have to set up a stand in there look pretty good anyway if I do that all video record it all anyway so that's uh hunt fish travel it's probably the end of this video unless I find another shed hopefully I'm gonna go out looking after I have breakfast and I'll you know, see what I can find anyway hunt fish trap at 1280 don't forget to subscribe there's a lot of good stuff on the way there'll be some good bass fishing um, and there could be some sucker spearing, depends if I'm up next weekend or not if they're running. So I'll have to see. Anyway, that's it for now.